Hey friends, welcome back. In Angular, the core part of any application is the use of components. Components in Angular have three parts. The component class, written in TypeScript, provides developers a place to build their application logic. Consider this to be the place where one may make API calls for data or define event handlers, for example. A component also has an HTML template. The template is where we define the user interface for the component. We can write this in the component class if it's a small template, or for more complex templates, we can include them in their own HTML file. The final part of the component are the styles. The Angular CLI supports authoring styles with SAS, less, or plain CSS. The styles we write for our components are scoped to our components. Similar to the component template, component styles can be included in line within the component class or written in their own separate file. In this course, we'll keep the styles in a separate file. Now, let's take what we've just learned about components and apply it to our application. This application can be built up from multiple components. First, there's the header with the homes-app logo that will appear on all of the pages. Now, we don't need to make this a component. We can add it to the app component template and just leave it there. Next, there's the case of the search box and the search results. Since these two parts of the application are only shown together on the home page, we're going to keep these two together in their own component called home component. Components can be nested and used inside one another. Now, the housing locations, which display photo, name, and location, seem like another opportunity to create a component. The styles and structure will be the same, but the data will be different. We'll create a component for this called housing location component and use it in the home component. If things are a little unclear about the approach, don't worry because we'll do this one step at a time. You got this. Let's get started with the header. In app.component.ts, we'll remove all the placeholder code that we started with and replace it with a main tag. We'll then add a header tag as a child with the class brand-name. As a sibling element, add an image tag with the class brand-logo. The source attribute set to the value forward slash assets forward slash logo dot SVG, and we can't forget the alt text. Set that to logo. Since this is a logo and it is purely decorative, we'll also add the aria hidden attribute and set the value to true. Saving app.component.ts and reviewing the content in the browser will reveal our logo, but the styles have not been applied just yet. We'll get there. Let's move on to the home component that we discussed that will contain the search bar and the search results. To create a component, we'll run the following command from the command line of our project. ng generate component home dash dash standalone dash dash inline dash template. ng generate component will instruct the Angular CLI to create a component for us followed by the home, which is the name of our component. Next, we include some configuration by specifying flags. We include dash dash standalone to make it a standalone component. Standalone components are Angular's new component style that reduce complexity and add some other cool features. Because the template code is going to be minimal, we'll also include dash dash inline dash template. This results in less files for us to manage. Since we aren't focusing on the styles in this course, we'll keep the styles in a separate file. Let's run this command to create our new component. The output of the command confirms which files have been created and where they are located in the project. Let's update app.component.ts to reference our new component in the template. First, we'll add a section element as a sibling to the header element. We'll give the section element the class content. As a child of the section element, let's add our component app-home. 
Our components use the app dash prefix. This can be configured in your application if this is something that you'd like to change. For us, this is fine, and let's save the changes and review the updates in the browser. The code editor may have an error here. That's because the main application component, app component, needs to know about our new home component. To fix this issue, we'll add a new property to the component decorator metadata for app component called imports. The imports property lets us list the dependencies for the component. Since we want to use home component in the template, it's a dependency now. First, let's add a file level import for home component at the top of app.component.ts. Import home component wrapped in curly braces from dot forward slash home forward slash home dot component. Next, in the component decorated metadata, add a property called imports. Set the value to be an array containing home component as the singular entry. Save all your changes. Then in the browser, the render page has our header and the text, home works. Great, we've created a new component and incorporated it into our application. Wonderful work, you are doing great and I'm proud of you. There are a few more steps to complete before we're done with this part, so let's get back to it. Our next step is to update the template of home component to contain the HTML markup for the search bar and results. In home.component.ts, let's add the following code to the template section of the component decorated metadata. Add a section element with a form as a child. Now the form has two children, an input with the type set to text and the placeholder attribute set to the string filter by city and a button with the type attribute set to button and the class set to primary. As for the button label, set it to search. Next, as a sibling to the section element, we'll add another section, but this one will have the class results. In just a few moments, we'll add our housing locations to the results section, but first, let's save this and review the output in the browser. Fantastic, we have a search and our button. Let's keep going because there's still more cool stuff they want to do in the app. Let's take care of the housing listing. Since we decided that it would be great to have a reusable component, let's make a new one. We'll run a similar command to the previous create component command. From the command line in your project, enter ng generate component housing location dash dash standalone dash dash inline dash template. All right, with that command run, we get a new component. In order to use this component, we have to import it and add it as a dependency of the home component. In home.component.ts, Add a file of an import for a housing location component. Import housing location component wrapped in curly braces from dot dot forward slash housing dash location forward slash housing dash location dot component. Next, update the imports array of the component decorator metadata to include a reference to housing location component. Then in the template section of the same file, Add the app-housing-location tag as a child of the results section element. Save your changes and we'll be greeted with a familiar output. In the browser, the text housing location works will be displayed beneath the search input and button. We have one more component to update, the housing location component. We want to display housing locations on the screen. But this is going to require a little more work, so let's save what we've done so far, and we'll pick this one up in the next section. Great work so far, friends. I'll catch you in the next section.